When we look at surgical versus non-surgical treatment, we try to do non-surgical for everybody first if it's amenable for them. So we'll try and treat you as conservatively as we can for as long as we can. Hi, Ms. Barry, how are you? I'm doing fine, doctor. So here's the new x-rays. He's a great doctor and he's very caring and he knows what he's doing. So he saved my foot. I mean, I, I feel like, like I'm more a part of my normal life than before. And you still have your foot? Yes, I do. Good Thank job. You. Our patients are typically in the 55 to 85, 90 range, and we'll go through that social aspect of it first so that we know how to gear that, how to gear our treatment to that specific person, and then work with them on what they need and how to get them better. So we'll give you the prescription for the MRI, okay. and then when you come back, just bring me the disc. And we'll okay. pop it in and look at it. This seems like a nice conservative approach rather than just jumping in. I was concerned somebody wants to go and start slicing, dicing, so I'm glad he's not that way. And I like this, taking steps and uh, creating a treatment plan. This makes more sense. My ultimate goal for the patients is to get back to their lifestyle, get back to doing whatever they like to do. Once they can do that, then we're happy. If they can't do that, then we have to explore it more and maybe do surgery, maybe do other kinds of techniques to get them back to doing their activities. Pinch, a little bit of pressure. Doesn't even hurt, right? Oh, I think I've been coming here for at least a dozen years. He's very knowledgeable. He cares. He's had a good bedside manner. And he gets right to the point. Don't cry on camera, OK? OK. All right, little pinch. I trust him because all we've had together with the knees, the shoulders, now the hip. When you trust him, you don't go to another one. When you got a good one, you stick with it. And that's the way I feel about him.